Welcome back, uh, uh, Mr. Joe. You did say that uh, uh, we we don't need to know what ails the president, but we also have heard the president when he was back mm -hmm. say, "Look, yes, he's never made this ill," and a lot of people empathize with him. They think, "Well, yes, mm -hmm. we have to uh, always allow him rest while he can." But does that then mean that I mean, today is the hundredth day uh, that the president has been away? Mm -hmm. So, but if they are asking, look, all we need to know is let him tell us why or what is the president because there are those who have given this analogy they think if we had a female president and who then took three or four months maternity leave nobody is going to question that because they know uh, what the issues are to deliver, baby. but in this case they don't know <laughs> and they're asking questions and you say we don't need to know i, I want to read something here and i just walk away no no respond to that before about you read it. roosevelt yes 19 he read he ruled america from 1933 to 1935 and six served 12 years though he could not stand or walk without support using a wish here in private he never disclosed his full the full extent of his heart condition I can go down, there are about seven of them, John, John F. Kennedy, uh, Woodrow Wilson, and all that. It's a private thing. Let people not pl play politics with this matter. The question you should ask yourself is whether the work is going on. You have a super competent professor in the saddle, and people are just overlooking that. The man who was the Attorney General for Lagos for eight years who headed a department at the University of Lagos, Department of Public Law, an erudite scholar in the finest tradition, a, a, a pastor. People are neglecting that, and they're chasing shadows. So that means... And does give, that me, also, give, give, give me a break. But this is a... Let me just have a break. Let's get a, a response from uh, DG about this particular one. You say they don't need to know what else the president Mark what? Well, DJ, I don't know if you might want to respond to that yes, quickly. Yes, please. You see, these are the kind of people we are dealing with. You know. I don't think you should get personal. I think uh, you should okay. just attend to I, the I, issues. I'll stay on the issues. You see, Nigerians can now see that they say that what we are doing is against the law. They say that we do not have the right to know. Nigerians can now see the reason why we need to ask questions. Nigerians can now see why they do, they do not need to be afraid of their own government. The government should be afraid of the people, you know, and that's the beauty of democracy. You see, it is important to note that we will never be discouraged, no matter the attacks, whether personal, whether physical, we will stay on the course, we will continue to ask the president. The constitution is very clear, section 144, when the president is sick, the constitution has already said what must be done. In these 100 days, it is obvious, they have, by their own admission, the president is sick. When the president is sick, you don't hold the nation to ransom. Mm. You let the nation move on. You know, the only way, is not by snapping pictures with people that we can know that the president is fit to continue. The only way that we can know whether the president is fit to continue in office or not is if what has been stipulated in Section 144 is activated. Mm. That yeah. medical panel, panel of five doctors, including the personal physician of the president, will be the only one that can ascertain the level of, you know, the sickness of the president, and if the president is fit to continue in office. Well, you know, so those are the issues we're asking, and as citizens, we have the right to know. We, we will come back to that in just a moment. I have a question for Mr. Egbokwe. Now, Mr. Egbokwe, you say that there is no vacuum in government, <laughs> and, you know, some of the government officials have also said that there is no vacuum in government. Can you then tell us why it would seem that 22 days after uh, the acting president has not assigned portfolios to the ministers who also took a while to also confirm as ministers. Well, do you think he went to London to get orders to do that? I'm sorry, I didn't quite get your response. I was asking whether you, you think the, pre, the, vice pre, the acting president went to London, that he must go to London to get orders to do that. When he, the man We're has just asking the a question because you want. say that there is, uh, there is no vacuum and there then we do no, know that before yeah. the acting president went to London to visit the president yeah. Uh, to, yeah, to, to, to have that conversation with him, the ministers had been cleared by the Senate and were not, were not uh, administered the oath 
until he came back from that trip with, to, to the president. And then now, 22 days after, you know, administering the oath, they're yet to be assigned any portfolios. Doesn't this indicate that perhaps they still, you know, need some communication with the president to be able to take certain decisions? Well, where this is um, a figment of your own imagination. Let me just put it this way. Do you think he went to London to seek permission from the president to, to give them portfolios when he had been given the, the, the authority to, 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 to just be running the government? You see, we play with words. We think, you know, we put our eyes into where we're not supposed to put our eyes. But do you know how many months it took the president to appoint the ministers? These things are not easy. These things are not easy. But our own thinking, all your own thinking is that he went to London to seek permission to do that. Don't forget that we hear that some people, we had some time ago, that some people took files to London, and he chased them away. There is a certain acting president, so there's no vacuum. There is no vacuum. If, you, if there's a delay, then it's just the bureaucracy that you have to deal with before you, before you just move on. So the man is in charge. Anybody who tells you that the man is not in charge or is not doing the needful is being economical with the truth. All right, if I could just uh, uh, chip in a quick one for uh, Deji. Deji, don't you think that you should be channeling your protests to the National Assembly? Because, I mean, if lawyers have looked through the law, they think the president, insofar as he has transmitted that letter to the Senate, uh, we have an acting president, and so no law has been broken, there is no vacuum. So if you feel that the law does not stipulate how long the president should be away for, rather than asking for him to disclose what his ailment is, which no law says he can or should, shouldn't you be going to the National Assembly saying, look, we need to ensure that this, as we see in the public service rule, is also the same with the Constitution? You see, uh, it, the, our, our approach is very simple. You know, we are more interested in the president resuming work than for him to be impeached. When it becomes obvious, like it is now, that the president can no longer continue. Because when, they, when Mr. Joe Iboko was saying that the acting president is in charge, you know, I, I, was, I, was, I was just thinking, like, two Sundays ago when there was an attack in Anambra in the church, it was the president that condemned the attack. The pres it was the president that reached out to the people. The president has been calling people. Even the president called one of the African presidents yesterday. It doesn't mean that the you acting... Know, it you know, doesn't you know, mean, you know, sorry to interrupt you there, but it yes. doesn't mean the acting president was the one who sent a delegation to Anambra. You see, you see, Maupe, we know what is going on in this country. We have seen this kind of dance before in this what country. What is going on? What is going on is that the acting president is not in charge of the country. What, and that's what, what, gives, and that's, you, what and gives you that indication? Be, because the indications are there. There was an attack in Anambra. The acting president should have been the one to speak for the nation. Because if, even if we go by their own submission that the president is not a private citizen because he's sick, they leave the work for the acting president to do. Why interfere in the day-to-day run, -day running of the country? If Why it's... call people? Why speak on behalf of the government? Why talk to the number of people? Why don't you allow the acting president to do these things? Well, look look at what happened. Did that mean that the acting president did not talk to the... The, the to, acting... To the look, at this, look at the... I'm giving you... There are so many instances. But I'm giving you the number of incidents. There was a, an attack on a church. People were killed. The person who is supposed to run the day-to-day -day activities of the country did not talk. But a man who is in London was the one that spoke. And it, you, you said it by yourself. You said people are taking files to London. An aide of the president has confirmed that. And people are taking files the to London. The aide of the president, what well, the aide of the president, interestingly, was the one who gave that incident. Yes. He talked about how some people took files to London to see the president, and the president directed them right back to the acting president, saying that there is an acting president you, in town. You see, Malpe, a few people around the president are the ones running the country. And there are indications there. Can you give it's, us any names? Well, people have said the chief of staff to the president. People have said the chief of staff to the president is actually the president of Nigeria. You see, Maupe? Do you have proof to that? 
People have said it. People, Even, people have said what people will say whatever it is that they will say. People but, but said can't, can't, just a moment. People said the president was on life support. People said the president couldn't stand. Are there reports to suggest? When the, to suggest when, just that a the moment, president, I'm, not, I'm not done. When the acting president went to see uh, the president and came back and said he's recovering, he's doing pretty okay. People said no, he did not see the president. In fact, he was not allowed to see the president, and only a number of people are allowed to see the press. People have said all sorts of Ma things. Okay, today is 100 days, right? It is 100, uh, Ma okay. 100 Ma okay. days. So my, my question is, why would you take what people say over what the government is saying? Why should we take what the government is saying? Has this government been sincere and honest to the Nigerian people? Have this government been open to the Nigerian people? This government has repeatedly lied to the Nigerian people. You in the media, is it, is it not an aberration that you in the media don't know what's wrong with the president? Can this happen in America? Can this happen in anywhere in the world? The instances he cited Which were instances? from America. People knew what was wrong with the president. When the German... people, people always know. You see, you see, Maope, this is both a moral and a constitutional issue. The constitution is very clear when the president sick what happens. Can you this president, us? this Can... president has mm. said in 2010, when the late president Yaradua was sick, that Late Yaradua must do full disclosure. This president cried when he wanted to become president. He said he, said, he had integrity. He cried. Now people, this president also, said, I, I need to make this point. This president also said that Yaredua had to resign because he was sick. 